Oh man, it is cold this morning. All right, it's right on seven o'clock. That is the absolute latest that I wanted to leave this morning, so I'm pretty happy with that. Anyways, I'm meeting people today, so there is no time for lollygagging. Let's go. I've got to stop and warm up my hands for a second. Oh, they're frozen. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. So yeah, I now have about two hours to get to the town of Blackbutt to meet my uh, first guest star for today. Bit of a, a celebrity. Um, he'll be on a black T7. Starting to warm up a little bit. So yeah, it's uh, about eight minutes to eight now. I think I'm making all right time. I've got to get to the barracks road by 8.30 at the latest. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we go with that. Trying to operate this GoPro with these gloves on is... Yeah, I'm not going to whinge or nothing. Anyway, we're back on the dirt. Woohoo! So, just after 8 o'clock. This is the uh, Western Branch Road, guys. Some of you might remember it from a recent video. It's the one with like 40 uh, causeway crossings. <laughs> I'm hoping by now that they're pretty much dry. Uh, only so that, you know, I can make better time. I won't have to slow down as much to cross them. Tell you what though, it's Friday morning. It's bloody cold. But, what would you rather be doing? <laughs> I love it. Here's the first one, number 37. So I should be dry up this end. Uh, possibly more water as we get further downstream. Oh yeah, this one's wet. Just stopped there in the sunshine for a quick break. Bit of a tinkle and a sip of coffee. I've ditched the full finger gloves. I just, I can't do it. I'd rather have frozen fingers than not be able to use my phone and my camera. It's a real annoyance. Anyway, barracks road. Time is 8.25. We are on time. Bit of water here. Whoa, whoa. A bit slippery that one. Little town of Linville. It's a pub there. Righto, Blackbutt. Quarter past nine. Perfect timing. Pull up here and wait. There he is. Right, hey, the two black T7s are off. We're leaving black butt. So if you didn't know, that is uh, Paulie from PJ's Moto Adventures with me now. They are on their way home on their lap of Australia. They're coming back down Queensland side. We'll have a bit of a chat to him when we stop shortly, so yeah. So these tracks that we're following now, I don't know. I've never been down this way. They were given to me by Steve, who I'm meeting up with in Toowoomba. So we'll see how good they are. <laughs>
se le crea. Uh. Yeah, eso era un toque la verdad. It's nothing compared to what these guys have seen in the last few months touring around Australia. They've seen some awesome shit. A bit of a bloody hoonigan, this fella. Ow! Fucking rough. Ooh. Sandy Creek crossing, cool. No, Paulie loves the sand. <laughs> not much of a lookout but it's a lookout not a fan of cameras anyone's watched my videos you'll hardly ever see my face <laughs> it's ex mvdbr exclusive guys this is paul's face <laughs> <laughs> um so this is paul from pj's motor adventures guys they are currently about two-thirds of the way through a lap around australia yep went yep. started from melbourne yep yeah up fair. the west coast yep Went across the west coast, went up into South Australia, up into Flinders Ranges, Cooper Pedy, back down, did the, um, down to Margaret River, the lower part of WA. Up the west coast, dropped into Karajini, um, Broome, just, yeah, where Jackie had a crash. Uh, then up to Darwin, across the top, up to the Cape, and now we're just working our way down the, the freezing cold east coast. Yeah, back into, <laughs> back into Queensland where it's nice and cold. Yeah. So apparently, our dodgy little channel got this fella back into riding and not only that yeah got his missus to say teach me to ride paul yeah so true mate so, so true melbourne lockdown sitting there locked down for over a year and uh started watching motorbike riding again hadn't ridden for a fair while came across your channel a couple of other ones but yours was the main one i watched and um got me back into riding and then you got into adventure riding and before you know it so am I, and he picked the good bike's bike. pretty bloody similar to yours, <laughs> yeah. so I, I picked the eyes out of everything you put on yours and, well, without trying to copy, came pretty close, and uh, Jackie got cool. inspired too to ride after watching your channel, so uh, she said teach me how to ride, and then as soon as we got out of Melbourne, off we went. Yeah, good on you, man. Mm. And funnily enough, Steve, who I'm also riding with this weekend, has a black Tenere 700 as well. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, subscribe to this guy's channel, guy. He's, uh, he's pumping out, you are pumping out the videos so quick, like, I think you're like only one or two days behind, aren't you? With, yeah, with your rides yeah, and your videos. yeah, around about that. Yeah, love it, love it. And it's something we'll always be able to look back on, so yeah. that's the main reason. Yeah. yeah, no, it's good. There's not really much point talking about my bike because... No, let's talk about your bike. You've got 40,000, over 40,000 Ks on it now. Yeah, just clicked 43,000. No issues, just changed tyres, oil regularly. That's about it. Everything else has been faultless. I can't, I can't fault the bike. It's been really good. Anyway, let's uh, continue on. Back on the road to Toowoomba. It is about 11.30, so I've got about an hour, hour and a half. Hopefully, get to go and meet Jackie. I swear he thinks I'm pushing him when I get close to him. I'm just trying to get good footage. <laughs> Paul was saying he does all his edits on his phone, on a bloody iPhone. 
That was a pretty good job. Surprised. I thought he would have at least had a laptop or something. But yeah, I'll leave a link uh, up in the corner here and uh, in the description, guys. Check them out. Check out Paul's channel, Paul and Jackie, PJ's Moto Adventures. Go back and watch all their around Australia videos. They've been seeing some awesome sights. Oh, what do we got here, Stephen? Looks good. The red clay. Trying to not uh, turn my camera on too much and use up all my bloody SD card, but it's um, such good riding through here. <laughs> Don't want to miss any. Whoa, suddenly it's fucking gnarly. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> cool. The hell is this, Steven? <laughs> freaking awesome. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it! <laughs> you got it, Paulie. Beast mode. This is fucking sick, Stephen. A shop. So, so right there on the roof. Oh, Murphy's Creek. There you go. That's where we are. I'm getting a little bit of fuel anxiety, only because I don't know how much further we've got to go. And I've been on reserve, or the lights been flashing for 27 kilometres already. <laughs> Boys, like, ah, oh, no, you get 70, 80 k's out of reserve, and I know you do, but still. <laughs> Adio. Right, eh? Hey, we made it to Toowoomba. Fueled up. I'm feeling a bit happier now. <laughs> We're coming, Jackie. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> the Jackstar. I made hey. it. <laughs> we need to get a photo of all three of us, I think. The Jackstar the deal. Yeah. She's got like a favourite sticker on there, mate. Yeah, yeah. Right. there it is. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks very it. much for uh, hooking up with me. Thanks, Keen has to meet you and uh, go for a ride, so it nearly didn't happen, but we snuck a half day in. Yeah, no, it worked out good. Yep, it was good. Tried to kill me, though. <laughs> I keep saying that. Alright, <laughs> right, guys, awesome to meet you both. Yeah, See you, man. See you again. Come here. Safe. Look after yourself. Alright guys. Right safe. Alright, oh, we got the next black T7 on board. So Steve, you might remember Steve from our uh, recent camping trip. I think it was our last camping trip. It was me, Nat and Steve went up to Deepwater National Park and hit that flooded causeway on the way home and we are off to sundown national park to meet up with georgie looks like stevie's going for the power bank on the back of the helmet there good idea that 
it looks like it's held on with blue tack there. <laughs> Shit. Very keen to catch up with Georgie. Haven't seen him for freaking ages. They're coming, Georgie. Cool. So different down here compared to home. Righto, Stevie's got us on some dirt. It is quarter past three. Oh, should I jump the wallaby? Nah, yuck. <laughs> It'd be rotten. This looks interesting. Oi. best just to go through the middle of those things but you just don't know how deep they are <laughs> through Iraq at the height of Desert Storm here, isn't it? <laughs> So these couple of uh, rangers or fire dudes, whatever they are in this forby here, just turned us around. So we're heading back now because apparently there's fire, like a lot of fire back that way and trees down and shit. So well, they've uh, told us we've got to go around. Alrighty, we're on another track. Something tells me we're going to be late for dinner. <laughs> it's all part of the adventure. Oh. Apparently this is some kind of dog fence or something they were saying. Oh. One of them said it was a rabbit fence, one said it was a dog fence. <laughs> Apparently we're back on course now. I swear, it feels like we're going round in circles right now. We're just <laughs> fucking... This fence just keeps turning one way than the other. If we end up back at those same ranges, <laughs> I'll be like, what the hell? Does this mean we're lost? <laughs> Man, this place is a fucking maze. <laughs> we'll be lost in here for days. Hope Stevie knows where we're going. <laughs> Alright. 
we're off that godforsaken bloody fence at last. Ooh. Getting hungry for a beer. <laughs> I missed it on camera, but Steve just, yeah, had a lucky fucking save. So it hit your handlebars. That big stump there apparently hit his... Uh, the one back on the corner there. Sticking oh, that the thing. Feet in the air, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> fucking hell, you're lucky, man. <laughs> I'm glad you went right beside me. Yeah. He went fucking zoop. <laughs> okay. This looks a little bit more promising. Maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of country out here, eh? Right? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. What a day so far. Bloody cool, but everything. Oy. <laughs> Still got a bit of daylight left. Well, we've got a long way to go, I think. How freaking cool is this? <laughs> Riding through some random bloody paddock. Oh, with bog holes. <laughs> Steve was saying there's a whole lot of nothing out here. <laughs> We're nowhere near our course. Oh, we're just going to keep on plugging for a while. Sorry, Georgie. It's the way it goes. Oh, shit. <laughs> If this, if this track actually goes somewhere and we live to talk about it, it'll make a good story. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I got that one! <laughs> what are you doing down there, bro? Look at that fucking hole! <laughs> yeah. yeah, what was I saying? <laughs> Yeah, it'll be a good story to tell Georgie at the campfire when we get there tonight at about 11 o'clock. Just as I say, if we survive it, <laughs> it goes into a big hole. Oh, yeah. yeah big, some big skippies out here, I tell you. Whoa. Oh, okay. gate. Don't be locked. We were just discussing whether or not we reckon this track goes anywhere and it's like, well, <laughs> don't know, what's the, what's the options, go all that way back or we'll plug on deeper and see what happens. A little bit of a gully here, it's a little bit steep, not too bad. This is getting sketchier and sketchier. This is probably like the end of the road. Hey, you found us a dam, mate. <laughs> I told you. <ya. laughs> Let's go for a swim. Mad dog. Oh no. <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> Come on, find some traction. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it's definitely too late in the day for this shit. So he reckons the track keeps going along here, but well done. <laughs> Dude, what are we gonna do? I don't want to ride this shit in the dark. <laughs> the problem is if we go back, we're just back into that forest again. Yeah. We've made the decision to go back. There's just absolutely nothing on the map ahead, so it's getting dark. We don't want to be stuck in here in the dark, even though we're already going to be. Adventure riding. Back through the bog hole. We're already struggling to find the follow the track in some parts. <laughs> you just stay up on the dry bit, man. <laughs> oh, those hills look cool in the light of our sun. into the slimy forest. Didn't take long at all to get back out of that track. It's always quicker when you're going back. You sort of know what you're in for. Let's hope he knows where he's going. We're still coming, Georgie. <laughs> I mean, we've got a long way to go yet. Far out. Right. <laughs> These tracks are pretty cool. It's a pity we don't have more time. Still trucking, still getting darker. Thought we were out of the woods, but apparently we're in a spot of bother still. <laughs> Trail boss Steve is on the job though. Righto, so this is a part of Steve's planned route, but he has now remembered it and he reckons that it was locked six months ago up here. So we're going to go and have a look because it's not too far. Hopefully it's not locked. Because if I wasn't fanging for a beer before, I fucking am now. <laughs> and it's going to start getting bloody cold soon. So yeah, this is the rabbit fence, not the dog fence. Oh, many holes. <laughs> so I'm back to riding along this fucking rabbit fence again. Unbelievable. All right, the gate is locked. Private property. Fuck. We're coming, Georgie. <laughs> One day. This is a fucking maze, this place, eh? Alright, hey guys, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. I think maybe we're gonna try and get onto that side of the bloody fence and then go back all the way back down here because there's a road that we're trying to get onto that's a little bit further along. I think it's officially turning into an adventure now, or has it gone past that? <laughs> Oh man. Oh, Steve just had a bit of a. hit a big uh, hole. It was a, uh, in one of these erosion mounds, and there was a big water hole on the other side of it, and his front wheel went straight into it. Boom. Jarred his arms and shit. There's a few traps along here. You gotta be fucking on your toes. Oh. Sunset looks good. <laughs> Right, uh, we're on the other side of the rabbit fence and heading back along here again. <laughs> Fingers crossed. 
I've got a good feeling about this one. <laughs> yeah, sure. The good thing is we're heading to Stanthorpe, Queensland's coldest town. <laughs> I shit you not. Let's go. At least there's no bog holes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're having fun. <laughs> oh man. Oh, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, fuck, mate. This is fun, eh? <laughs> oh, no, we've just gotten past where the locked gate was on the other side of the fence, just back there. So, fingers crossed, this goes somewhere. Please. Oh, shit. I see, oh, I see bitumen. I see a road. <laughs> well, I normally hate bitumen, but I'm fucking happy to see it now. <laughs> We're back. We're coming, Georgie. We're fucking coming, mate. <laughs> All right. Well, it's not exactly bitumen, but um, it's a road. We've got about 50 k's to get to Stanthorpe. So hungry. <laughs> I don't even care about the beers now, I've gone past that, I'm just hungry. Still riding along this fucking rabbit fence, would you believe it? <laughs> I actually saw a couple of rabbits just a minute ago too. It's now officially exactly 12 hours that I've been on the bike. <laughs> Not feeling it at all! The ass feels great! <laughs> I've got no idea how far we've got to go, probably about another 30 k's or so to stand tall. And then another 80, I think he said, to the campsite. <laughs> oh, mama. All right, we finally stand off, I think. Fuel time, anyway. Getting bloody cold. <laughs> Righto, Google says we've got an hour, four minutes to the campsite. That'll take us just past eight o'clock. Quarter past eight. Our <laughs> fucking bikes are so filthy. All right, back on the highway. We're just slabbing it. Google's, yeah, just following Google's directions to get there as quick as possible. Someone tell me why Google Maps goes sideways like that. Like, what the fuck? No other mapping app has that kind of fuck up. Like, it's actually upside down. The bottom of the phone's over here. Oh, man. 13 hours on the bike is too much, too much. Anyway, not gonna whinge. Still alive. Just gotta watch out for kangaroos, man. This guy in the floor being in front of us hit a kangaroo before. I don't know if Steve might know if he actually hit it while it was still alive or it was on the ground. But I think maybe it was already dead on the ground and his trailer was too low and fucking clipped it, but I saw it spinning down the road anyway. Steve only just missed it. It was fucking fur flying through the air. <laughs> It's all happening. Anyway, yeah, 29 minutes to go. I don't know, now we might be uh, getting close. I'm gonna do it anyway. So there's 10 minutes to go. Looks like we have arrived. Gotta find the Giorgio. It's uh, 10 past 8. Georgie! We fucking made it! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh shit! Oh. What happened? What a day! What a day? Nearly 14 hours I've been sitting on this fucking bike! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I can't even see it. Cheers, buddy. We're fucking here. Boy, well, I'll tell you one thing real quick. Steve could get a job doing blue line maps for MVDBR. <laughs> <laughs> what a day, but like it's not anyone's fault or anything. No, no, of course this, not. This adventure it's ride, man, that's how it goes. If we weren't coming to meet you, I would have just said, fucking let's camp We're in the last track that well, we got turned weren't. around on. Yeah, it was a nice spot, but yeah. I'm like, no, nah, we've got to go fucking go to see Georgie. you got to come and get your beers. Yeah, I've fucking nice, man. The beers are waiting for us. Georgie's waiting for us. we got food waiting for you. Way I'm sorry, out, man. man. I'm sorry. We tried our best to nah, get it on time. Mate, I know what it's like. It's all good. Have you got any wise words, George? I don't, Josh. Just fucking enjoy life. I think I am drunk. That's about it. You're not drunk. <laughs> no, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drunk, George? No. no. <laughs> Come on. Who do you want to give a shout out to, George? Come on. Go. MZ and uh, Seb. Maybe someone that watches the channel still. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can see that. There's a little possum hanging Should out. Should I throw him a peanut? Should I throw him a peanut? Yeah, he's throwing a peanut. I'm going in. It's a koala, guys. There's a koala over here. <laughs> it's a wild koala. He's coming. It's almost like someone put a log on the fire. Our little buddy's eating some spud. He's loving it. Don't fucking bite me, oh <laughs> shit. He's not supposed to bite if you don't. Yeah, but don't touch his head. Fuck that. This. It's ice. This is not food, it is a hand. <laughs> you just fucking want me to get bit, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you can't buddy. Oh, he doesn't oh. like you, Steve, you're fucking like... mean. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie's hopping in his swag. He's got no mattress, he's got a thin bit of fucking esky lid or something here. Dude, you can't sleep on that. I think I'll be fine. You reckon you'll be right? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> Don't be shy. Good night. So, it's after one. george has gone to bed. Soft. Steve and I are not keen to leave the fire. Too salty. He's got one. He's got one. <laughs> Do you want to be in there with that? <laughs> Poor bastard. He'll be coughing up in take two minutes. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't even know. <laughs> you don't even don't want to admit it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> what, wait, what are you laughing at? <laughs> <The> salty cock. <laughs>